If you do not sign in on PlayStation Network, then this is the right place to solve the problem. Today we will show you how to troubleshoot the PlayStation Network sign-in. Failed error. The parsable reasons are 1. You input a mismatched username and password. 2. The PlayStation Network server is down due to maintenance. 3. Your IP has been changed or banned by PlayStation. Before we start if this video is helpful, please like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for next video. So, let's start it. Step 1. Enable automatic login. If you are unable to sign in PlayStation Network, you might need to enable automatic login your PlayStation. Go to Settings and then choose the User option. Move to Login Settings and tick the Login PlayStation Automatically option. Restart your console and try to sign in. If persist the same problem, you can try to update PlayStation software. So, let's start it. Step 2. Update your PlayStation system software. You can encounter this issue if your PlayStation console is outdated. In Safe Mode, Select the Update System software. Once your PlayStation is updated to the latest version, it will be restarted. Finally, check if your PlayStation is not signed into the network. If persists the same problem, you can try next method. So, let's start it. Step 3. Disable Media Server Connection. Go to Settings and then select the network from the menu. You will find the Media Server Connection option. Click the option to disable it. If persists the same problem, you can change the DNS settings. So, let's start it. Step 4. Change DNS settings. PlayStation Network sign-in failed can be ascribed to the blocked IP address. To unblock the IP address, you can try changing DNS settings. Below are the steps to change DNS settings. Select Manual under DNS Settings and then enter the following Google DNS. After that, click the Next button to continue. Primary DNS, 8888, and Secondary DNS, 8844. So, let's start it. Step 5. Rebuild Database. This method should fix any corrupted files or bugs in the database and also the sign-in PlayStation Network issue. Go to Safe Mode and within the Clear Cache and Rebuild Database menu, select Rebuild Database. This action will scan the drive to create a new database of all content on your system. If persists the same problem, you can try to reset the PlayStation. So, let's start it. Step 6. Performing a Factory Reset If you are unable to sign in PlayStation Network, you might need to reset your PlayStation. But that said, it will erase all the data and reset your console to its factory settings. So, we recommend backing up your personal data before resetting it. So, let's start it. So, that's the whole story. My friends, we have covered the steps to solve PlayStation Network sign-in. Failed. If you face any problems or still have same experience, please leave a comment here. I will be happy to help you. If you discovered this video beneficial, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Fix Netflix, for additional tips and tutorials. Appreciate your time spent watching this video and we eagerly anticipate your presence in our upcoming content. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to your favorite troubleshooting channel, Fix Netflix YouTube channel. If you are seeing no signal, weak signal, or a blank screen of your PS4, this is the right place to resolve the problem by few steps. Today we will show you why PS4 shows no signal, weak signal, or a blank screen and discuss how to resolve the problem. Before we start if you find this video is helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, Fix Netflix for more helpful tech tips and tutorials. So, let's start it. Step 1. Power Cycler TV Unplug the power cable back of your DV, not the outlet. Then wait for two minutes. 
while waiting. Press and hold the power button on your TV for 10 seconds to get rid of any remaining electricity. Now recheck the problem, and if the same problem persists, then go to the second step. Step 2. Press and hold the power button on your PS4 for 7 seconds. This ensures that the PS4 really turns off, which is necessary for starting it in safe mode. You will hear one beep when you begin to press and hold the button, and a second after about 7 seconds. You can remove your finger from the button after you hear the second beep. Now restart the PS4 again and check the problem. If same problem persists then go to the third step. Step 3. Check the HDMI cable and ports physically. Remove the HDMI cable from the PS4 and the TV and look inside both ports with a flashlight. Do you see any bent pins inside the HDMI ports? If there is a bent pin in the PS4 or the TV, you would see a no signal area or a blank screen. If there's a bent pin, unplug the TV or PS4 from the wall and gently push it back into place using a flat screwdriver. Hopefully this will solve the problem. So, that's the whole story, my friends. We have covered all steps to fix PS4 no signal, weak signal, or a blank screen issue. If you face any problem, please leave a comment here. I will be happy to help you. If you found this video helpful, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Fix Netflix for more tech tips and tutorials. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for